Previously on Nino Kuni 2. While on our mission to acquire lumber for our new ship, we fulfill a few requests and recruit a few new citizens, including Evan's old teacher. Among these quests was defeating Mortimer, a corrupted monster terrorizing the citizens of Goldpaw. Eventually, we make our way through the hardwood and defeat the monster Zag who was claiming the wood for himself. Alright, let's accept a few more... How are you? ...quests. Hello there, young man. I am pleased to say that this is your lucky day. You see, I have been looking for someone with whom I can share my tale. And what a tale it is! An account of such bravery and daring do that it is sure to provide a source of strength and inspiration. It begins half a year ago when I was but a young pup trying to make my way in the world. Best you make yourself comfortable, Evan. I've got a feeling this will be a long one. Mm -hmm. It does sound interesting, though. In fact, I'm rather looking forward to hearing it. Cor, you really are a wide-eyed innocent, aren't you? Three hours later. Right. And so I went to dazzle the world with my battlefield prowess. I traveled to distant kingdoms and smote entire herds of porks. I took to the high seas and suppressed schools of ferocious fangfish. I once even brought down a wave worm with such a single well-placed arrow. I was unstoppable, invincible, the world's greatest warrior. Gosh. That's, well, incredible is the only word. <laughs> you are impressed, I see. And no doubt you are wondering how you too might develop such a reputation, yes? Well, fear not, young man. I have prepared a trial for you. A trial? Indeed so. You are to journey to the shrine near the city and take on a fearsome monster by the name of Conflagra. The ominous smoke that surrounds her will make her easy enough to recognize. Mm. Ominous smoke? That sounds familiar. Yeah, man. Certainly does, man. We both know what we're dealing with by... Yer? Mm. She's a vicious creature. And no mistake, she seems to enjoy nothing more than the sight of hapless travelers turning tail and fleeing in terror from her... <gasps> ferocious onslaught. Damn, that sentence was long. Which is not to say that I could not have triumphed over her in my younger days, of course. But age has taken its toll. My powers are fear are on the wane. I know better than to seek such confrontations now. Oh. But what? It is time for you, the younger generation, to take over. You must smite the beast in my stead. And in doing so, you will prove yourself worthy of being my successor. Successor. Arf, arf, arf. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'll go and defeat that monster for you. Thanks. Yeah, excellent. I knew you'd not let me down. Oh, are you sure about this, man? I mean, have you really thought it through? Properly, like? Mm. What's that to think about, Lofty? If this monster's been infected by that awful darkness, someone's got to deal with her. Or we'll be all be in trouble. And besides, I want to see if I'm as good as he was. <laughs> I knew he drilled you in with untell tales of his. As your kingmaker, I'm obliged to say you're already twice the fighter he ever was. But there's always one way to find out for certain, innit? Alright. Aww. I only get the long range ring. I don't think that's worth it. Alright, so that's not worth it immediately right now. Uh, I think there's another one. Yeah, there's one up there. Why can't I roll in town? I want to roll in town. Well, I can roll here, but that's not, that's not what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably you, right? Hmm. Huh. You have come f to have your fortune told, yes? Oh! Well, I wasn't really planning on it, but since I'm here, I might as well. Hmm. Good. Now, let me see. Hmm, yes. A star grows brightly, illuminating the path ahead. Star's down here, right? At our feet, you know. Uh, you walk along it, but you have yet to reach its end. If you continue along this path, you will change the world. It will not be easy, but the star burns fiercely. The other stars will join it. Gosh. 
That's very... Well, it's quite encouraging, actually. It reminds me of Suicide, like the, the, the stars of destiny, literally. Oi. Hoi, Evan, man. Why don't we ask this chap if he wants to join us in our kingdom? He's a proper talent, if you ask me. Why would you want a fortune teller in our kingdom? Hmm, you wish to accompany me to accompany you to your new kingdom? I am honored, but I am afraid I must refuse. I cannot leave the city at the moment. People think, would think I was running away in disgrace. Why is that? Did something happen? My reputation here in Gold Pohes suffered greatly of late. Alas, I have no idea why, and thus no means of rectifying the situation. Really? Come on, man, you're a fortune teller! You must have some clue as to what's going on. As a matter of fact, I consulted the fates a short while ago. I saw two stars arriving in Goldpaw, throwing light on this whole misunderstanding and clearing my name. I wonder who those two are. Who else, man? And if we manage to help him, that'll mean his prophecy was right. Which means all that proper tidy stuff he said about you'll turn out to be true as well. Hmm. Well, perhaps we should help him regardless. Can you tell us where you think these awful rumors about you might have started? I can only imagine they began at the casino. That's where I usually work, you see. I make predictions as to the outcomes of customers' bids. Let's see now. The casino, eh? Right you are. Come on, Evan, let's see what people down there are saying about your old pal here. Where would we put the fortune? Oh, magic. Could put him in the magic. Okay. Make inquiries at the casino, three. Should be easy enough, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry if you guys don't actually like... Oops. Don't actually like watching side quests, but... I'm gonna do them, man. You can't stop me. Oh, hello. <laughs> I like doing them. What is this? You, my young friend, like to help people. I can see that from a mile off. This is your very first time here at Swift Solutions, correct? Well, you've asked for it now. My lecture on the wonders of this finest sandwich face for blah, 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 yes. blah. Yes. Come, they have something to be doing. Okay, so it's a... Mm. It's a quest board. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Take on task reported. Trade tokens of gratitude. What what can we get? Scout new citizens and swap for items. Ooh. These seem interesting. I mean, I don't need any of these. I don't need any of these because I'm kind of, you know, <laughs> On very on an expert difficulty, so I'm getting a whole lot of weapons. But the furs, the cottons, yeah, it'd be nice to stock up on them. Uh, Scout new citizens, of course, that would be always helpful. Let's see what tasks there are. Obtain some pots of sorrow away. I'll just buy them. Obtain a spring mantle. Hey, I just sold my spring mantles. Come on. Oh, we can. Can we just can we just accept all of them? Sort away, apples, sun-kissed tomatoes, sure. Leaves of hearty wheat, sure. Defeat the Silphies. Cloud Coil Canyon, we can do that. I mean Yeah, sure, why not? Oh god, I sold my upst I also sold my upstanding spears. Damn it. I shouldn't have sold them. Swirly apple, sure. Sunkissed tomato, okay. Hearty wheat, sure. Three good eggs. Go with the shittiest boss's boots. Shittiest upstanding spear. Cobbler's nails. Hard wearing wool. <laughs> uh, can we see what quests we have? Are they here? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wang Ling was once of one of the finest fortune tellers in Gold Paul, but he has become terribly greedy and tight-fisted of late. I have heard that he even demands extra fees from gamblers who win as a result of his predictions. 
Such behavior is unheard of. It's a disgrace. Okay, that's one. Yeah. Casino's a battleground, boy. Perhaps you should come back in a few years when you've learned a little more in life. What, was I looking at someone? No, no, not at all. Why would you say that? Who, who are you looking at? <laughs> I guess one of these two? <laughs> oh. Wang Ling's predictions are utter nonsense. Do not ask him to tell you how your bets will turn out. Whatever you do. You seem so confident and assured, you see. I decided to top up my stake and go all in. And I ended up losing everything. That's what you get when you gamble. Am I missing someone? Oh, I'm missing this girl. Hmm. Would you like to know about Hua Ling? Well, I do know one story about him. Apparently, he managed to convince some gullible tourists to go with him to something he called a lucky spot. Where he proceeded to give the poor man nonsensical advice about how sitting cross-legged would bring him good fortune. He sounds like an actual scandal to me. These stories have nothing in common. Well, Huang Ling wasn't wrong. The poor dab's reputation is in tatters. Everyone we spoke to was bad-mouthing him as something rotten. Mm. I'd like to speak to the tourist Huang Ling supposed to have tricked, wouldn't you? Oh, bang in! Yeah, good thing. Ah, oh, these shiny things are gonna be the death of me, I swear. Look for a tourist sitting cross-legged on the ground. In this area. No. I don't see anyone. Oh, is that him? Yeah, it's him, probably. <laughs> yes, yes. I think it's working. I can feel myself getting luckier. Hey, you there. Can you sense it too? Do I seem lucky to you? Well, um, perhaps. I don't think you should necessarily trust what that fortune teller told you, though. What? Why not? He's one of the most famous fortune tellers in Gold Paul. I went to him especially. Well, I'm afraid to say you might not have found him. Now, what can you tell us about the person who told you to sit there? What did he look like? Hmm. Let me see. He had long white hair and a blue robe. But his hair is covering his face, so I didn't get a very good look at him. What do you think, Evan? That someone's going around pretending to be Huang Ling? That was interesting. Still, shouldn't be too hard to find out the imposter. Sounds like he's got quite the distinctive look. Mm. Right, let's look around town. Find the imposter pretending to be Huang Ling. And then the game just points you straight. Unless it's an area. Oh, it's an area. Okay, so it doesn't tell you, tell you. So he like he looks like Huang Ling, but his face is covered. I see. No. What? What? Why would you do that? Why would you wear that hat? Mm. Visiting casinos at your age? <laughs> no, not you. It's probably somewhere here because. No one would ever check here. Does it, why would I say that? Because I've never been here. I've never been to this side of town. <laughs> uh, anyone here that looks like a suspicious fortune teller? What do you have to say? Hello there. Counting in this manner make me the luckiest man in all of gold, Paul. Oh, he's hitting on her. I am. I'm actually out of the <laughs> out of the zone right now. Okay, so he's not down here. Oh, I found you. That's not what I was looking for, but... Ah, you again! Can you not see that I'm not... I am engaged in the most important mission? I am too busy to talk. Leave me alone! A mission? What kind of mission? I'm keeping an eye on that man and woman over there. They have been deep in conversation for a suspiciously long time. Look... Look how closely they stand. They would only do that if they did not want to be overheard. They are spies, discussing how to bring gold paw to its knees. Or they're just oh. close. They just look like an ordinary couple to me. <laughs> Silence! How can I focus on my mission with you chattering away? 
No, it's no good. My focus is ruined. I'll have to come back later. Do not get in my way again. I want to make the narrative voice, but I really can't shout in my... In, in my current recording setup, there is no way for me to do certain voices without disturbing someone. Like, I can't... I can't do the narrative voice or, you know, the super... And that's that! I, I can't do that. That's gonna be super annoying to the people around in my house. So <laughs> I try to stick to the normal everyday voices. Sometimes get louder when the character is angry. But generally... I voice act a bit more tame than I could be voice acting. Where the hell is this guy? Is he- oh, Wow. Wow. That's all I had to say to that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Keep gambling, you fools. Your greed makes you so easy to deceive. Long white hair, a blue robe. This must be our man. Excuse me? Are you Huang Ling? How Ling? How Ling? I just got it. I was reading Huang Ling. Hmm, who's... Oh, Huang Li. Yes, I am he. Aha, uh -huh, I sense that you are a tourist here. Would you like... Would you care to have your fortune told? Oh, that cheek. You've got to be f a flipping cheek, man. I am he, my foot. You're no more Huang Ling than I am. Gah, I knew this would happen eventually. Flip! He's done a runner. Let's get after him, Evan. Come uh, on! It went towards Lady Luck. Do we actually have to chase him? No. Damn. <laughs> and I thought I, I... I want a more active side quest game. I want to chase someone, like... Distance to target 20 meters, a la GTA style, you know? Go after the imposter, pretending to be Huang Long. Huang Ling. Huang Ling, not Huang Long. Huang Long is a... <laughs> He's a demon from SMT and Chinese mythology. Well, then again, we are in Chinatown, so... Whoa, what are you doing here? I mean, you know, there's only one place to hide here, and that's back here. <gasps> I was wrong! Hey, is that you? No, that's not you. <laughs> oh, there you are. Listen, you! We got to know you, Rotter. You'd better stop pretending to be our mate Huang Ling or we'll... Shh. Uh, the real Howling will... I even made Huang Ling. I, I keep saying real Chinese names. <laughs> so you're the one who's been tarnishing my hard-worn reputation. Huh. I suppose the game is up, so... Yes, it's true. I am the one who's been pretending to be you. Crikey! Crikey, he almost sounds proud of it all of a sudden. But why? Why would you do that? I too am a fortune teller. But no one has ever heard of me. It was nigh on impossible for me to find any customers. Laya. <laughs> He's a liar. He's a liar. Okay, so I decided to borrow the name of one of Gold Paws most... Famous soothsayers, and it worked. Visitors from the countryside fall for the ruse every time. Ugh. How dare you? How dare you claim to be any kind of fortune teller? What have d you done? At what you have done brings disgrace upon us all. But I really am a fortune teller. Sometimes my predictions really do come true. And when they do, people are so grateful. It feels wonderful. It made borrowing your name worthwhile. I only wanted to try it once or twice. I did not mean for things to get so out of hand. But once I had begun the deceit, I found it hard to stop. Hmm. I see two stars above your head. One has burned out and lost its light. The other seems as though it will burn ever more brightly. It is up to you to decide which of these stars to, to be your guiding light from here on. Hualing, are you, are you telling me my, are you telling my fortune? Go and tell the people of Goldpaw what you have done. Complete honesty. 
without it, you can never hope to become a fortune teller, no matter how talented you are. Simply pretending to be someone else is the domain of clowns and mimics. It benefits no one. Now go and clear my name. I... I understand, Hua Ling. I'll never do anything like this again, I promise. I'll explain to everyone what I have done and then I shall work hard to become the best fortune teller, just like you. Gosh. It didn't take much to persuade him to go straight. Yes. Indeed not. Now, King Evan, I must thank you. I doubt I could have restored my good name without your assistance. If the invitation still stands, I would be honored to join you in your kingdom. Yes! Of course it still stands, Hauling! It'll be wonderful to have you! Let's go! Alright. No more. No more side quests, right? We've accepted all of them. Okay, let's go to Evermore and actually, like, assign all of our new citizens, right? <sighs> you want anything? You want anything? Yeah. We're just back. Okay. All right, let's head over to Catch in the place we're actually supposed to go. All right. Guys, you can go get your steel lumber now, or whatever. Whoa! But well, what you say? You bagged a load of quality timber from the forest of Nial? Core, you're a one, are you, lad? There's only right good wood comes over from over that way. I can't wait to have a go on it. Don't worry about fetching it and that. All part of the service. Hey! Right, you bunch of... Bone idol bad guys. Let's get a move on, shall we? You gotta you guys gotta fight a bunch of mushrooms, but I'm sure you can handle it. We got a log or two to be shifting. And just like that, Evan had found himself the finest boat builders in all the land. And some timber worthy of their expert attention. Eager to get to work after their recent ordeal. The men of Capstan set about putting together a ship fit for a king. And before long, a magnificent vessel that no wave could hope to topple was all but ready to set sail. Wow. Pretty fancy oh there. My. This is really ours? Blimey! It's made of wood, but it looks metallic. I mean, I guess that's the point of the steel, steel-looking limber, uh, limber. Yeah, it is limber, lumber, lumber. <laughs> Whoa, it's amazing! I love it. Good. This means we'll be able to set sail for Hydropolis soon. All right, Your Majesty. Uh, me and the lads were wondering. You'd not be bothered if we decided we wanted to live with you over in Evermore, would ye? I wouldn't be bothered, but I'm pretty sure Pugnacious would have something to say about that. R really? Aye, building this beauty put the love of Crafter right back in us. We have a few more like th this in us if you give us the means to make them. And besides, you don't know the first thing about boats. He'll only go, go letting this son run rack and ruin without us to look after her. You know, just because... This, this doesn't make sense. One, you don't need to leave because we're not actually next to an ocean. What would shipbuilders do in a land landlocked country? Two, Pugnacious is gonna get, hey, stop stealing my citizens. And three, if we needed repairs, we could just take it back here. Come on, man. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's lucky. Welcome is back. Catch is now a citizen of Evermore. She's all set to sail. We're nearly back to blah blah blah. That final tweak. Flipping heck! Alright. Sorry, lad. She'll need a final bit and Bob doing before she's ready for the off. Alright, seems we have time's on our hands. Best put our affairs in order while we have the chance, eh? Alright. Head back to Evermore and plan our next move. Sure. Um... So, what kind of place is Hydropolis? Do they have nice food? Probably fish food. 
It's a nation built on the ocean, where merfolk and humans live side by side. And it's ruled by a queen named Nerea. As for food, I believe the fish is very good this time of year. Blimey! You know everything, don't you? <laughs> Just how to read, that's all. I'm really looking forward to adding another nation to our union. And I shall be interested to see how other kingdoms are ruled too. I still have so much to learn. That's what I like to hear. Hey, oh! can see her ass there, my, my, my man. Your Majesty, she's all fitted out and ready to set sail. We'll launch her over by the coast nearby. All you have to do is climb aboard and get going. Yes! Wonderful news. All right, let's take a voyage. You know, it would be better if it is actually like in a dock up on the beach. But whatever, oh, I'll take it. Now. All aboard, look like it, eh? Tidy. All right, let's time to set sail for the seas unknown. Hoist the radar, swap the mainsail. We're off. Can access your ship via the field map once aboard. Set sails. Disembark, simply approach the coast. What? 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 You won't be able to do so near cliffs and certain other obstacles. Okay. <laughs> Objective down there. Where are we going? Up here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's see if it unlocks. I don't think it's gonna unlock anything special. Or it might. It might. I mean, we haven't had access to this place. Yeah, there's a cave up there. Can we? We can! <laughs> Oh, God. I'm gonna love exploring. Come on, come on. Dug out. What? This place looks pretty ominous. Let's see what level the enemies are. Thirty-one and thirty-two. Hmm. It's right on the edge. I think we can do it, but All right, I'll just I'll just put it in my mind that this place is here. Let's go to Hydropolis. I I want to see what Hydropolis is like. I just wanted to see if you can actually <laughs> sail up the rivers and yep. Yes, you can. Do we actually have a world map though? Yeah, no, we have a map, but Oh. Oh my god, the map is now super open. Like, I probably can't sail north. But there are rivers here, back in the rolling hills, you know? And there's islands to the north. Of course, there's that giant crack in the map. But damn, this is gonna be exciting. This is gonna be exciting to explore. Probably not show it all on camera, but... Ooh, you know... Fine. How does combat? Oh, they they What's go this? on deck. Okay, well. Hello, I am a wind. I I, I use wind. Ow. Ow. Ooh. That's not good. <laughs> Eat my axe. Okay, well. Kick. Axe, axe, axe. Alright. Uh. Same combat. I, I I was almost expecting that you'd have like ship to monster combat. Oh, let's dodge that. Hydropolis, here we go. This reminds me of Wind Waker. Not that I ever played Wind Waker, but I've seen the gameplay. And when you go on your boat thing, 
Yeah, it reminds me of that. What is that? I think it's pulling me in. I think this is... Oi! <laughs> I don't care how tough Capsan thinks this... I want to say... Oi! I don't care how tough the Capsan lot reckon this ship is. He doesn't want to risk it. <laughs> Lamau. Okay. Hello, Hydropolis. You look cool. Hydropolis. Why is there a giant eye there? Hiya! Here we are at last. Hello, Hydropolis. Mm. <laughs> it's ever so pretty. And the weather is lovely and warm. Ah. Oh. Lovely me eye. I've never been so seasick in all me days. Hmm. <laughs> An unfamiliar vessel. Inform Archon Leander right away. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir, with all haste. Of course you have the stereotypical right. Finn helmet. We better think of a way to best mm. approach Queen Araya, pretty gift or two, and some sweet words, but that's mm. not how it works here. Can't help thinking it won't be quite that simple. Well, let's not kill it by getting all miserable, shall we? I'm sure she'll be a nice woman who'll be happy to have a chat with us. And then she wasn't. I will never understand why the people love you so, Leander. A weak, insipid man. Step on me, mommy. But love you, they do. Without you, I would be nothing. That is what they whisper, is it not? Without you, our nation would be nothing, your majesty. I, above all others, know this. Mommy, please. But the people cannot know this. Foreign powers cannot know this. If they did... If they did? Then what, exactly? Then your life would be in danger. Malign forces would plot your downfall. This is the way of power. So I put myself forward. If the people see me, deal with me, they can only become discontented with me, can only wish to harm me. So all that you do, you do for your queen. You would give your life for her without a moment's hesitation, yes? Not without reason, your majesty. But if it might prolong your life for a single second, that would be reason enough. Such a death would bring honor upon me, upon my entire line. Insipid you may be, but you are occasionally amusing. Simp. You are too kind, your majesty. Hmm. Well, you wish to see me? Yes. Yes, your majesty, a ship has arrived from a foreign land. It is a vessel unknown to us, but most likely it brings travelers, or perhaps traders. Hmm. Is that so? Well, whoever they are, they must be obey the word of the law. There will be no exceptions, is that understood? Not a single infraction can be tolerated, not one. Do I make myself perfectly clear? By all means. Perfectly, your majesty. <laughs> Let's see now. Let's have a stroll around and see what we can see, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's. Hey there. Let us know when you're ready for the off, your majesty. Take your time and enjoy the sights. This is a fine old town, make no mistake. You'll be ready to sail whenever you need us. Have fun now, ha ha. Okay. <laughs> if you guys notice how I play these games, I never, I never go straight. <laughs> hey. Is there from this, this the kingdom? You sound, you look like you're recruitable, but maybe we need gold. I mean, I drop it on our side, on our side first. Like, 
Your face here, right? And then the first thing I do is run there. <laughs> That's how I play these kinds of games. Alright. So, aside from the pretty ocean and water tribe like. Can I get in here? Come on! The water tribe like scenery. Can you please move? Okay. Not a day goes by without a new fishing restriction from Archer and Leander. I cannot understand it. Everyone knows the choppier waters are where the biggest catches are landed. Uh. Bruh. Fine. Be that way. Jesus Christ. That's annoying. Hey. You. Stop right there. All foreign visitors to Hydropolis must undergo questioning before being permitted entry. Firstly, state your purpose here. Have you come simply to visit? Or to trade, perhaps? We're here from Evermore, a new country in the Heartlands. We'd like to request an audience with Queen Nerea. <laughs> I have heard of no such nation. And the Queen offers audiences to no one. It would seem that your journey has been wasted. Ah, oh, flippin' heck. Something tells me the news of our illustrious kingdom hasn't spread too far just yet. Hmm. Well, we'll have soon. They'll be singing our praises from the rooftops next time we're in town. You'll see. Excuse me. Next, you must swear to abide by the four pillars of the law. Oh. Four pillars? What are they? Pillar one. It is strictly forbidden to harm one's fellow man. Pillar two. It is strictly forbidden to ascend to any of the high places of Hydropolis. Pillar 3. Sickness is strictly forbidden? Pillar 4. The last and most important. Love is absolutely and completely forbidden under any circumstances. What? What? W wait, what? What did you say? That's crazy. <laughs> to the uh, people of Hydropolis, it is nothing of the sort. There's no greater crime than to love. As long as you are a guest here, you will remember this. On the pain of the most severe punishment. That will be all. <laughs> so much rolling up with a gift or two for the old queenie. We still don't know a lot about her. Maybe if we're gonna do this right, we'll need to learn more. Then there's only one thing for it. Mm. Come on, let's explore the town. Okay, that's what I was doing before you interrupted me, game. Are you off? <laughs> I got a piece of a pretty ribbon. Haha, <laughs> you've been played. Okay. What's in here? A store. Hey there. Sour away, sour salts. Why would I want this? Oh, let's buy two. Should they be gone? Buy four. Yeah, let's, let's buy... Because I don't want to sail all the way... Well, I guess I won't have to sail to Hydropolis. I can just teleport here, but... You know, same thing. Hmm. See you. Okay. Also, I'm never selling anything again. Because the last time I sold something, I couldn't complete my requests. And that sucks. Alright, nothing here. I'm pretty sure we can talk to these people, but... That's just a lot of time wasted. Higher ground. And it is forbidden to climb high places here in Hydropolis. And the view from the op- What? Huh? <laughs> Everything looks so appetizing. Okay. Are you a mermaid? No. <sighs> Little celebrate of late. There's no need of gowns and dresses. I have so much beautiful cloth and it's all going to waste. I think I think the the theme of this town is like an autocratic state, but they didn't want to make the game game mood too serious. So they just made it something dumb like you're not allowed oh, to love yes. as a replacement. Well, like these guys. <sighs> Small path that's often used by people staying at the inn. Doesn't this go to higher places though? <laughs> I. I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, I, last I heard mermaids. Mermaids oh, have yes. fins. 
This is so I drop this are inevitably charmed by the beauty of the ocean surrounds it. Okay. Hello. This is some my collective rare and personal items to see. Calmly coral. Okay. Hey there. Do you know why love is forbidden here? Because it changes people, both for better and for worse. Those who say Queen Nere knows nothing of love are very far from the mark, I suspect. So what? Population growth is zero? I suppose. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, let me get, grab this. Oh, hello there. You are all visitors from a distant land, are you not? And you must have been surprised when you heard of our very particular laws. I can assure you that we local folk are equally baffled. There would appear to be no rhyme or reason behind most of them. We are merely victims of Queen Araya's hmm. whims. The law forbidding love is surely the most ridiculous of all. We hydropolitans, nice term, have a tradition of proposing to our Intended loved ones with an engagement ring made from a calmly coral. What will become of this tradition now? No one knows what the motives the queen and we live in constant fear. Outlandish Yankee deck might be passed next. Okay. <laughs> Lovely place. Sun reflecting the sea. Dazzling. Okay. A handful of all berries. <laughs> you ask me what I know of Queen Nerea? Uh, now that you mention it, I realize that I know very little. Her Majesty seldom appears before her people. Look, you see the building with all the guards? That's the entrance to the palace. It lies on the ocean floor, you see. And at its top stands the eye. It's supposed to symbolize the benevolence with which Her Majesty watches over us. But the rumors tell of it's actually being a device. She uses to spy on her own people. Whether or not this is true, we certainly never see her. Her interactions with the citizenry are conducted by the Archon Leander, her most trusted aid and advisor. Some even say that in truth, it is he who rules our realm. Uh... But if that is so, what, is ac what exactly is it that she does? Holy crap, that is a huge fish. Um... Oh god, that is... Yeah, okay. Yeah. You would do well not to underestimate the city guard. They have eyes everywhere. Nothing escapes them. Nothing. Several of my acquaintances have been thrown into prison after being caught breaking the law when they were certain that no one was watching. I do not understand how they do it, but the guards seem to be able to sniff out wrongdoing wherever and whenever it takes place. It is as though they have a sixth sense. Some claim that Archon Leander has wondrously acute hearing, and that this is how he knows of everything that happens in the kingdom the moment it happens. But surely that cannot be true. Well, I'm not sure we learned an awful lot about Queen Erea that, that would be much of much use to us. No. No, but I sure heard a lot a, a lot about this Leander character. Yeah, thinking that Swap might be another way, Roland, lad. Really? Interesting. Yeah. If we can get to him, we might be able to use him to get one step closer to the Queen. But how would we get to him? <laughs> oh, I know. Me, me. Ask me. Well, why, what? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Wow. Don't, don't encourage him. Actually, I'll fill you all in the details in a bit. Let's get to us one of them thingamabobs first, shall we? Huh? Thingamabobs? Yeah, exactly. Let's try somewhere that sells accessories and that. Reckon they might have one here. Gosh. I don't understand, but all right then. Why though? Why would we... Hang on, where are we? Oh, we, we, we freaking got teleported. Okay. Let's just see the thing about Bob's. See the plan and we'll end the episode there. Yeah. But it is the weapon factory. <laughs> Your mate, you don't happen to sell bright red coral rings, do ya? Whoa. 
but, but, but what would you want with such a thing? Never you mind, sunshine. Have you got one or what? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. But the law forbids me to sell such an item. I dread to think how Arco and Leander would react if he were to learn of such a flagrant breach of the laws. That said, as far as I know, there is no law that prevents me from simply giving you one. All I ask is, is that you help me in return. A fair exchange, I'm sure you will agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be the judge of that, Mom. All right, spit it out. What kind of help are you after? Okay. I have three orders waiting delivery, and I simply do not have the time. Okay, he just wants a delivery. Okay. Why? Why? Boosh! Get in! All right. We got a sorrow away suite. Sure. Uh. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, oh, okay. We need to Goodbye. do a side quest. I have a wide range of items. To complete oh, the main again. quest. I see. Well, anyway, I think we'll leave it there for now. So if you want to see what Lofty's plan is, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.